We are joined this evening by Dr. Larry Elmer, University of Toledo Medical Center, and we're going to be talking about Parkinson's. There's a lot of amazing new research going on, and some of it even happening here locally. Tell me what you and your staff are doing right now to, in the end, really help people with this disease. Sure. Uh, great to share that with you, Sean. Thanks for inviting me to talk. Um, basically, as you know, Parkinson's is a disease of the brain that causes a slowing down of, of the ability to move. And so most of our therapies are geared toward trying to improve dopamine levels. Well, some of our most exciting research actually involves slowing down the rate of progression of the disease process. And so if we can actually slow down Parkinson's disease, once people get symptoms, they really won't be significantly bothered by the disease for many years to come. Okay, so if somebody gets it at 50 or 60, instead of maybe five years of, of a good life, we could, be, could we be talking 10, 15, 20 down the line? Is that right. some of your research right. showing? Uh, that's, that's very accurate. I believe what we've seen actually in my lifetime is that the, the, the game has actually changed. So in a very real sense, when Parkinson's used to affect people in the late 80s and early 90s, the, the chances that a person could get good control of their symptoms for maybe two or three or four years was pretty good, but after that it was pretty much uh, a 50-50 split. Nowadays, people get very good control of their symptoms. Not everybody, but most people get very good control of their symptoms for the first seven, 10, even 12 years. If we can combine that with a slowing of the rate of progression, I'm very, very hopeful that we will actually be able to give people a 10, 15, 20, maybe even 30 year window wow. on Parkinson's, which was almost inconceivable just a decade or two ago. So do you, does that, do you envision then a, a cure per se, or do you take it from the perception of just making life better for the patient when they have it? You know, that's a great question, and a lot of us around the country as Parkinson's specialists uh, our feeling is that if the therapies that we have are good enough to control the symptoms without any significant side effects, and if we can find a way to slow the rate of progression, that basically the disease itself doesn't cause severe uh, s symptoms or, or disability, then in a sense that's kind of a cure. Yeah. yeah. So because in, we, can't, we can't stop the aging process and we certainly can't hold off death. But on the other hand, if we can keep, keep people alive and active, physically fit and uh, mentally sharp for the rest of their life, that's, that's almost a cure. Now, when, when you go through this research and, and you put so much work into it, do you, what does it make you feel like when you see, when you could talk about a, a five years of good life, 10, 15, and, and down the line? I mean, we hear so much about diseases that we almost feel like there'll never be an end point. What's it make you feel like that you might have an end point at some point for Parkinson's? Right, so that's, that's a great question, and I think, in, in a sense, that's what gives us the most joy is the fact that we can keep people safe and secure in their own homes, physically active, doing the things that they love to do. I mean, that's one, one of our greatest blessings is really being able to take people who have lost the ability to, let's say, go out in the garden or go golfing or fishing and be able to return them back to that activity as a result of our therapies. It's just uh, a, an amazing joy for us to see that happen. And if we can keep that going, and I think that's the goal of all of our current research, is to try to maintain that quality of life for as long as the person has remaining on this earth, then we've really done our job in it, and it gives us a great sense of satisfaction. All right, we wish you luck, Dr. Larry Thank Elmer. You. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Sean. And that is this evening's Talk Back.